So today I am doing a collective haul and this is going to be kind of a large collective haul so I'm going to try to get through it quickly. Let's start. So from Shein would be this super super cute little outfit. A crop top, high waisted shorts. I absolutely love this. I have this same style of clothing um, except for in a different pattern and I really like it uh, especially the top. So I went ahead and got this one because I'm in love with this floral pattern and I love both the top and the bottom. I have nothing negative to say about this whatsoever. This would be the dress I wore in my blonde wig video. It was so baby doll and I kind of did a baby doll look and it fit perfectly although in everyday life it looks a little it looks a little like I stole a doll's outfit. A huge one. But it is pretty. Up next would be this romper. And I have this romper actually in navy blue. And I think it is very beautiful. So I got red. I haven't put them side by side. But I feel like the, the blue one fits a little bit differently. But nevertheless, this one is quite beautiful as well. And lastly from Shein would be this denim oversized distressed jacket love it very pretty very just oh and oh well there's that's my dry shampoo stick <laughs> i liked everything that i got from shein which is basically the case 99.9 .9 of the time love shein they have a great return policy <sighs> great shipping free shipping actually anyway um who is next next is from rawi and i got this blue jean jacket denim wrap did I say jacket? This denim wrap dress. Okay, words. I absolutely love this denim dress. I did not like it at first because um, I thought it was just not super flattering. It was kind of just kind of a little bit loose and not in a good way. But I paired it with a braided belt and such a cute outfit. I love it like that. And it just wraps and ties. There is a tie in the inside where you can tie it. Uh, inside but I find if you do that there's like a little lump inside so useless tie there but all over a very very cute outfit really like it next up is this Romwe blouse um, it is cold shoulder and it's very very pretty although I do find the strap falls off very easily I don't love that but it's so cute just with a high-waisted skirt I would probably always just wear it with a high-waisted skirt. I feel like that's how it looks great. Oh, it is a little see-through, by the way, guys, um, just to warn you. But it is great for, like, maybe the beach or with a high-waisted skirt and maybe put something underneath. And very pretty. I actually forgot something from Shein, which I also really like. And it is this off-the-shoulder. It's actually a romper dress. Romper slash dress. It has shorts underneath. absolutely love it. It's just covered in roses and... I got this actually because all the reviews on Shein were so good. Everyone seemed to love it so much. That's what sold me on it, to be honest. And I can see why. Next, this is my first time trying from this place. And it is called Belle Lily. And to be honest, I loved pretty much everything that I got from them. But I did look on Google. And there is a lot, a lot, a lot of negative reviews about their website. And that definitely makes them a little bit fishy. But... I feel like uh, Zaffle and Sammy Dress are decent websites and they also have the same thing going on. So I realize why they have negative reviews. That's because most of their pictures are not the actual clothes. It's a copy of the clothes. Like they'll put like a real Tommy Hilfinger shirt there, uh, a real picture of it, and then they'll copy it. And it probably won't look exactly the same at all. Second reason is because these kind of websites, you can't really return things. The return shipping is generally more expensive than the item itself um, and also they usually don't let you return things on these websites in my experience and so I could see what the reviews were saying that that's kind of the reason why anyway with my long rambling I had to mention that because I'm gonna be showing you the clothes and I just want you to be warned of everything let's get into the clothes now <laughs> first of all I got this Calvin Klein shirt and I never get like fake stuff like this but I was really curious on what this kind of stuff would look like in person hair dryer please ignore that guys I'm sorry but I gotta finish this video and I love it it is so pretty I would not know it's not Calvin Klein to be honest the material is a little thin I prefer it with the sleeves rolled up because I just think the sleeves fit me a slightly awkward but all in all I think it's a really really cute little top and 
great price. I just got a size small. And by the way, some of the complaints about this website I was reading was a lot of them were saying that the stuff was too small, but they have measurements on exactly the measurements of the clothes. Like you can look at that. That's important, very important. Um, so that's not their fault really. They, they showed the measurements. Um, and of course, Asian sizes do run smaller than the US in general, but I find that sometimes they're a lot bigger as well, but you know, it's generally known that they're smaller, um, like one size smaller. I wouldn't mind if it was a teeny bit longer because it kind of goes above my high-waisted shorts, but you know, that's just preference. Next from them would be this floral romper and it is so beautiful. I have one complaint. It fits a little bit awkwardly in the butt area. Um, yeah, just a little bit awkward, but I guess you could tie something around your waist. That happens a lot with rompers, but other than that, I think it's so gorgeous and I love it. Okay, next from them I got this sweater dress and this is a little short for a dress just because, because if I raise my hands it's gonna go up too high. Um, so anyway, but with that said, it is so soft, it is so comfortable, I was very happy with the comfortableness of this. I will literally probably sometimes use this as pajamas during winter because it is so soft. Also with some leggings it'll be super easy to throw on um, during fall. And I don't really have any complaints about this. It's, I like it. Okay, are we in focus? How could I forget my favorite piece? This is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt and they actually showed the actual Tommy Hilfiger jersey in the photo. But um, I was so curious to see what it would look like, what theirs would look like because I knew they would copy one and yeah, I was just very curious because it was so cute, the actual one. The actual Tommy Hilfinger jersey they had in the picture on Tommy Hilfinger cost, I think it was like between like $80 and $90, and this was like $13. The Tommy Hilfinger red is lighter than Tommy Hilfinger red, and also there's pretty much some permanent wrinkles. I tried to get these out, and I got them out a lot, but there's kind of permanent wrinkles in here. Also, I don't like the sleeves down. I don't think they look cute down, but I think they're so cute up, and I this is my favorite shirt from this order, actually. I really like it. The wrinkles don't really bother me to be honest. I I don't care. And I actually may may like it better than the actual Tommy Hilfinger shirt in the picture. I feel like this is more wearable. A little bit more everyday wearable and it is so cute. I already, already wore it out. And lastly from Belle Lily would be this dress. Now this is the only thing I'm kind of like no way about but the top just is very awkward fitting uh it just fits very awkwardly like i cannot wear it without something underneath because <laughs> basically it's gonna show at any moment everything and also this just looks very not nice the bottom part great awesome beautiful the back is also pretty but just the front top does not work for me at all um so this one's a thumbs down all the other ones thumbs up so yeah. <laughs> Guys, I was wrong. This is the last thing from Belle Lily, and it is a Tommy Hilfinger um, swimsuit, and this is also a thumbs down um, for me just because it's very shiny. It's just very shiny, and um, the top is also too big for me. I haven't tried on the bottoms. They look cute except for being shiny. Not into it. Mm -mm. <laughs> but uh, all the other stuff, other than those last two, I think are great. <laughs> okay guys, next is a place called Amy Clubwear and this is my first time ever trying their clothes and I have to say very much liking them. Uh, first of all is my absolute favorite. I would pr probably, I like uh, I like other ones, but the, I think this one is my favorite because I've been looking for something like this for the longest time and every time I think I find something online it ends up coming in and being too short to actually be a dress or just not fitting the way I wanted it to and even things um, in the stores just not really fitting right but the hair dryer again guys I'm sorry I'm so sorry this is a mess I'm sorry guys about that anyway but this one is absolutely perfect like this is just I love this I really can't say much more than that I just been looking for something like this for so long it would be so cute with knee high boots next would be this very cute pair of jeans when I saw this I just had to have them I love just the distressed the pattern just absolutely love these jeans they are really great but they do run a little small 
also from Amy Club Wear, I got this romper. And this is probably going to be something I wear the most because it's just very casual. And I tend to just go to rompers all the time because they're so fast and easy to throw on, you know? I really, really like this thing. It has pockets and it just ties at the waist. And it's beautiful, casual, comfortable, easy to throw on. Also from Amy Club Wear, I got this romper as well. It's just a lacy um, white romper with a tie and I think it's quite pretty as well. I can't remember if it was see-through or not to be honest because I tried it on a little while ago but I remember liking it so. <laughs> Lastly is the only thing that I'm not thrilled about is these white tennis shoes and I wear white tennis shoes pretty much 90 nine percent of the time <laughs> so i got these but i just not loving the way they look to be honest um just kind of the all over shape of them i'm still gonna wear them just if i'm gonna be doing something more likely to get them dirty i would i would go to these if that makes sense and protect my ones i like better this floral dress with a slit in the front it is quite pretty i have the same one but in white i do prefer the white one just because i think it's more my color but this is also a very beautiful nice off the shoulder dress and the thing i like about it is how far down the mesh part goes because it cinches around the waist rather than around my rib, rib cage which i have like a large rib cage so it's just not flattering when dresses do that so next is from our mall it's kind of an app they also sell their stuff on aliexpress which for some reason is a lot cheaper on aliexpress and i will put their username on aliexpress somewhere or in the description box um anyway first thing i got would be this off shoulder crop top and it's just black and I really really like it which by the way guys I used to say I don't wear black and that was just because I was very pale and I thought it washed me out a lot but I do like black now sometimes anyway really like this black shirt it's very cute um I wouldn't say I'm probably gonna get loads of wear out of this just because it's off shoulder and moving my shoulders around might make it go up and stuff and you know off shoulder top problems but they're very trendy right now and very cute and yeah Next is this dress which actually makes a incredibly, incredibly stunning um, beach cover up. It's just this very long, beautiful white dress. Okay, next. Also from our mall is this top and um, there we go. <laughs> I really like this so much better than I actually even thought I would when I got it. I feel like it just is such a pretty little crop top and very beachy would be great. Um, to put over a bathing suit with some shorts at the beach. I absolutely love it. Next, I got this crop top, which looks like this. It's so tiny. It's a lot tinier than I expected, to be honest, guys. And <laughs> it is beautiful. It is it's really beautiful, but I don't know what I would ever wear this with. What was I thinking when I got it? Because it is very short. Like, it is very short. Nothing I have is going to go up high enough to cover my stomach with this. So, I don't know. Maybe the beach. Does this look beachy? Also, I got this beachy little cross thing. It is decently cute. Uh, the string is very cheapy. Um, for like just putting over a bikini, it is decently cute. Okay, so next we have stuff from Rose Gal. And I'll start with these shoes. Very cute, right? Um, although the fit, I would say, is a little bit cheapy. Um, like my toes kind of kind of smash a little bit in the front of this shoe like just making it you can kind of see my toe outline a little bit which looks a little cheapy um they do fit nicely though and and uh i i think they're very very cute <laughs> all right next from rose gal would be this red dress very pretty color it's just cold shoulder and the only thing is it is very low in the front so i did have to throw something underneath um i guess that would be preference but yeah just this little dress <laughs> I got this swimsuit cover up. It is just a big white cover up. It's pretty, it's nice. And yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> it. It's a beautiful cover up. Uh, also, I got this romper from them. Just blue and white stripes. The only thing is, it is for some reason, I don't know if I checked the measurements or not. I, I don't know. But the top is just very big. I mean, I know I checked the measurements, but I must have not been paying enough attention. Um, the top is just very huge on me for some reason. The bottom fits perfect. Um, it's just like the whole body of the top is way too big. So I'll have to I'll have to alter it if I'm going to ever wear it. I did. I tried it on for you guys anyway. I just put a little ponytail in the back. 
Also from Rose Gal, I got these two cute little floral hats. As you guys know, I love baseball caps. They're great for bad hair days, but something really funny happened. After I already got them, I realized it says for men on this hat, which is very ironic since I chose them thinking, oh wow, they're so girly looking. So yeah, these are apparently for men. Uh, they're very cute and initially I thought very feminine looking. I mean, I'm not trying to insult anyone saying that, you know, I'm not, I know people get offended by saying stuff like that sometimes, but I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I really thought these looked girly. I guess it's different country standards, um, kind of thing. Lastly from Rose Gal is this little headpiece. I haven't actually tried it on yet, guys, so I, I don't know how I like it, but I'm going to show it to you guys, um, on my head after I finish this talking part. I never get these just because I don't like middle parts on me, but... Yeah, I wanted to try this one. Oh. Okay, guys, next I have some stuff from a place called uh, Gamus. I've also, this is my first time trying their clothes as well. Firstly, I got this really pretty romper. Um, I've seen someone wearing this romper with white tennis shoes, and I wear white tennis shoes all the time, so I thought this would be perfect. I thought it was super cute, and I really, it's very pretty. It is a little bit big on me. Um, but it's quite pretty. The back is also a little bit, has that romper diaperish vibe just a bit <laughs> but you know tie a something around it and it fixes everything and it usually looks cuter that way anyway from rose gal i got this really pretty striped crop lace top it's just pinstriped um i don't know if you can tell it is pinstriped and yeah it's very pretty i love the fit of it and everything really think it's flattering uh next i also got this little dress from them I also really like it. Sorry, the blender is going, guys. Um, but I got this little dress from them as well. It's very comfortable, very easy to throw on, and quite cute. Next, I got these overalls. Now, guys, these overalls came with the buckles completely off. Just, like, all the metal was just on it with a bag. And it literally required sewing to put these on. So that was a huge negative for me. You're not supposed to have to finish your clothes when you buy them. Um, so... It is relatively cute. It does fit me. It's actually very tight on the bottom. Like, it is very hard to get on. Um, and it's a little loose on the top. So I don't know how much I'm going to wear this one. This one's not really one I love that much. It's kind of cute. But next are these shoes, guys. And I really like these shoes. They're very just super casual and, like, sporty and fun. Um... I have pretty much nothing to complain about these. They give you height secretly because they're wedge sneakers. Next I got some similar shoes. These were a lot cheaper and personally I just think they're a lot less cute as well. I guess you kind of get what you pay for. Um, they're still cute. I'm still going to wear these for sure. But I just think the other ones are way way cuter. These look a little cheapy and because this part is yellow, it's kind of a dingy yellow and I feel like it looks like it's already kind of dirty. It gives it kind of a really used look even though they're totally brand new and not dirty. <sighs> but um, yeah, these are these are okay. Okay-ish for me. And lastly from Gamus, I got these white shoes and these are definitely a thumbs up for me. I really like them. I think they're totally cute. They fit perfectly and they're comfortable. These and the first wedge sneakers I showed you guys, really like them. This one is also from Rose Gal and I'm not going to try it on for you guys because it's actually uh, for my mom and it looks really cute on her. It's just a wrap dress. A wrap dress. I'll link it below if you want to look at the picture. Um, but it's not my size, so I can't really try it on for you guys, you know? I also have this skirt from AliExpress from the seller I Shine, And it is a very pretty skirt, but I'm not going to try it on for you guys. Because it's actually super tight and super see-through. I mean, I guess you could probably fix that with putting something under there. Like a nude slip and wearing nude underwear. But yeah, I'm not going to be trying it on for that reason, but it is quite pretty. Okay guys, so lastly I got some stuff from a place called To Save. And they have ridiculously good prices. So I was super curious about how their clothes looked. Definitely very good for the price. We will start with this one. I thought it would be really cute over a bikini top. I feel like it looks like an actual shirt or like part of a dress. But... It is, it is pretty. <laughs> Next, I got this off-the-shoulder top. It is also very pretty. There is one thing, no, two things that I 
don't really like. Uh, one, it is a little see-through. And two, it is very tight on my shoulders, so it kind of really smashes into my shoulders. I probably should have read the shoulder measurements and measured my shoulders. But shoulders are just like the one thing I never pay attention to the measurements on. Yeah, but should have done that. <laughs> I got this dress, which has a tie that goes around the waist somewhere. I feel like it looks more like a bikini cover-up than a dress, especially without the tie. With the tie, it looks more like a dress, um, but I think it's it's very see-through, so I think it's best for a bikini cover-up. If you put a slip under it, then it'll definitely work as a dress, but I prefer it as probably a bikini cover-up. We'll see. Anyway, this is a, another floral romper. I know, guys. I know this floral pattern you've probably seen in half this video. Guys, I love this floral. I, I just fell in love with this floral pattern. It's very pretty. Um, although this romper, it is uh, supposed to have the tie in the front, but I cannot wear it with the tie in the front because it is way too short. Uh, you'll have to be, I would say, you'd have to be like 4'9". I say about 4'9". Otherwise, you'll have to wear it backwards, which the back actually looks perfectly like the front, and it is high enough to wear as a romper, and it is cute like that. I remember there was something I didn't like about this one, but it is a very pretty romper if you wear it backwards, which there's no tag. Oh, there's a little tiny tag, but you just can't tell. You can't tell that it's backwards when you wear it backwards. So if I ever wear it, I'll wear it backwards. Oh yes, now I remember. I thought it would be best as a bikini cover-up because it is very see-through. <laughs> Lastly would be this teeny tiny little crop top that I thought would be good for the beach maybe um, with some shorts. And I know guys, I'm kind of I've got a lot of stuff for the beach even though it's nearly fall now, um, but I actually got this stuff a long time ago and it just kind of all came in over time and so, um, but you know, there's always next year. <laughs> okay, so that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye! <laughs>